Hey all, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own channel point stickers. And we're going to do this together step by step and you will see actually how easy it is. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a series of demos so you actually know what I'm talking about. So what I've done here is I've prepared some stickers of my own on my own channel. And as you can see here, I have my Twitch chat open and I've prepared four stickers. So I'm just going to show you some examples of some stickers I've done and then we we're going to do some together step by step. So let's look at the first one here. So the first one is bonk. Ouch. Okay, let's pick another one here. You are so cute. So I'm just going to redeem this one. And as you can see, it's just popping in his head here. Let's take a third one here. And this one is with sound. So as you can see, you can have both PNGs and GIFs and you can also have sound. So this one is with sound. And last example here I want to give is the classic give me a pat. So this is just a gif with no sound. Mm. 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 So in this video I'm going to show you how you create your own stickers from scratch. Okay, so the first step we obviously need to do is to create our own channel point reward. So I'm going to bring up the Twitch website here again. So basically, I'm just going to reset the zoom here as well, like that. Okay, so what we need to do here is go to our avatar here, then go to create a dashboard. And then under view rewards, you will see channel points. And it goes without saying, but you need to be an affiliate or a partner to Twitch to even have this menu. So let's open this up, manage rewards and challenges. And then here you will see the list of all the rewards and we're going to create a new custom reward. So the first step here is to give it a name and it's important that we remember the name afterwards. So in this example, let's uh, do the give me a pat example. So let's just pick a name here. So I'm going to write uh, give me a pat. Description, add whatever you want to. It doesn't really matter. A cost here as well put whatever you want. So how this system works is that the reward will be redeemed automatically. So please put skip reward request queue here because it doesn't make sense. And it's probably a good idea if you want to put down a cooldown or a limit so you don't get spammed if you have like a audio sticker. Also, you probably don't want to get spammed if multiple stickers are played on your stream. So it's probably a good idea to put on a cooldown or a limit. But in this example, we're going to ignore this. So let's create it. So this is basically the first step and this is all we need to do. Okay, so once we have created our reward here, we actually need to create an OBS browser source. So I've actually written a tool to do this. So as usual, there is a link in the description beneath this video. And if you click on that link, you will come to my website here and you will come to this page. And this is basically the tool we're going to use to create our browser source. So in this video, we're basically just going to go through this step by step. So the first thing we need to do here is to give my web server access to listen on channel point redeems. And this is done by giving me something called an authorization code. So what we're going to do here is basically just click on this button here, grant permission. And as you can see, we're getting redirected to Twitch and it says here that special agent squeaky sticker up here wants to be able to view channel point custom rewards and their redemptions in your channel. So let's just authorize this. And as you can see here, we will get redirected back to our page, but this is now filled out with a secret authentication code. So the next thing we need to do here is to enter our reward name. And if you remember when we created our reward, I said that we need to remember the name of it. So what we're going to do here is just to go back to Twitch here and then copy this name, give me a pat. I'm copying it and then I'm just going to paste it in here. So this is how the web server will know which reward is getting executed and when to show the sticker. The next thing we need to do here is to upload an image. So I'm just going to drag over my uh, pat gif here and put it over here. And as you can see, it's been added here and we can see a preview of it. 
The next thing we need to do is to specify how long this image should be on screen. So maybe one second is a bit too short. So maybe we're going to have five seconds, but put in whatever value you want here. If you want to upload an audio, you can do it here as well. But for this example, we are not going to do it. And lastly, we need to enter a super secret password. And if you don't know what that is, basically click on this link here and you will get the password. And then we're going to create our stickers. Okay, so now that our browser source has been created, we basically just need to add this to our OBS. I am using OBS Studio, but it is basically the same way if you use Streamlabs OBS. So this browser source works for both. So what we're going to do here is basically copy this URL. So we can press this button here, copy browser source URL, and this is now copied. And then we need to open up our OBS Studio. Then, under sources here, we're going to right click and then add browser. And then we're going to create a new name here. So I'm just going to put this sticker pat. And in the URL here, we are basically just going to paste in our browser source URL and press OK. And as you can see here, nothing is shown, but you can move this around resize it and put it to whatever you want. So since we're doing a pat, it's probably a good idea to put it just above my head here. So that should be everything we need to do. So let's try this out. So I'm going to open up my reward menu here and I'm going to redeem give me a pat. And as you can see, it is working. So this is basically how you create your very own channel point stickers for your own stream. And it is a very easy system. The last thing I want to mention here is that there are some resources on the internet where you can find PNGs, GIFs and audio. So during my research, I found that you can basically download GIFs from sites like Giphy. And if you need some audio clips, I found this myinstance.com and you can find most audio clips here just to download. So as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the gaming content I'm creating on my YouTube channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next video.